The siege of Theodosia in 389 BC was the first of three sieges carried out against the city of Theodosia by the rulers of the Bosporan kingdom, who attempted time and time again to annex the city to their dominions during the long Bosporan Heraclout War. The first of these sieges was carried out by Satyros I, the father of Lokan I. Chapter 1, Prelude Satyros had recently bribed Gylon, an Athenian official of Nymphium, to hand over the city. He had recently acquired the city of Phanagoria as well prior to laying siege to Theodosia. He had also recently involved himself with the Syndike kingdom, attempting to gain influence with the king Hecataeus by deposing the king's wife, Turgatau. Satyros then besieged Theodosia to attempt to make it a part of his dominions. Chapter 2, Siege Satyros I had been besieging Theodosia with little success until he had to shift his attention to Turgatau, an Iximitan queen who was wronged by Satyros and began laying both fire and sword to his land back east, as well as having killed his son Metrodorus. Heraclea Pontica came to the aid of Theodosia, perhaps possibly to protect their colony at Chersonesus from the rule of the expansionist Spartacids whose domain was ever increasing. Upon returning, Satyros died of despair while sieging at the age of 81, having had two wars that he was losing on two fronts. On his death, he passed over his throne to two of his sons, Lokanai and Gorgippos who would later finish what he began. Chapter 3, Aftermath Around twenty years after the death of Satyros, his son Lokan began a second siege of Theodosia in around 365 BC. Lokan lifted this siege due to Heraclea Pontica sending Tinicus, one of its generals, to aid the city and who succeeded in doing so. The city was conquered around five years after that, but the Bosporans had enraged the full wrath of Heraclea Pontica, and received another war from Heraclea Pontica. Chapter 4, 